Well, hello everybody. It is Sunday, January nineteenth. Why do always people always talk during my introductions? <laughs> this is the one thirty p.m. race at Watkins Glen. Uh, I have no practice in this. Uh, I'm pretty much going to be slow. This is a split on car, starting ninth of the nine car D DP field with the lowest car number. Uh, this is going to be the last race of the season and the last race of the season in Grand Am for me for a while. I am going to win the Division 5 championship. It's my first ever division championship in iRacing. I'm very uh, happy with that accomplishment. And uh, I wasn't going to run, but uh, I just, I'm making, I've raced every race of the season. It's all on YouTube. It wouldn't be fine if we uh, skipped the Get last ready. race for no reason. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll do the best I can. Um, happy five year iRacing anniversary to me. All right, man. Uh, Eight let's cars have a good in. race. Go Broncos later on today. Green, green, green. I really hope Peyton Manning wins. I mean, he is the greatest. Are on your right. Race right here. All clear, all clear. Why am I getting through this field so easy? As I said during the introduction, I have like no practice. I'm just going off my feel from last year. Where I actually won a race here. It was with a like a five car DP field. Now definitely on top split of the straight to field 130 PM race. I don't mind Tom Brady as a person. It's fine, but Peyton Manning is the greatest of all time. And uh, it's, you know, you look at their head-to-head -head record in playoffs, I think uh, Brady is 3-1 and one versus Manning, but that doesn't tell the whole story. Football is not about, I mean, the quarterback can lose a game and can win a game, no doubt, but it's not all about the quarterback. And you look at those Colts versus Pats games. One minute, 49 point six. Nine, Especially nine. the one in the snow where the Pats were home, but the Colts were really heavily favored. Peyton had no time to throw all game. And he had a poor game, but if you have no offensive line, oopsie. I saw that was going to happen, but I thought I could got wheel damage. Anyway, if you have no offensive line, you have no time to throw, you're going to have poor stats as a quarterback. Your car had too much damage. We've got to fix it. That's it for me, actually. So, that's actually good news. I don't have to race for 90 minutes. It makes for a poor video, but I saw that was happening. They say you cut the court. You have to slow down and give up the time game. But, the, anyway, just go back to what I'm saying. Oh, boy. I think this is Belichick's greatest coaching year ever. Um, in terms of the number of rookies and just the overall like roster he has, I think it's amazing what he's done. So hats off to him. But the Colts have the better team. They're home. I mean, the Broncos have the better team. They're home. You know, if Peyton doesn't win, then. Peyton doesn't win. But let's let's face it. Let's phrase it like this, okay? Peyton Manning, the Broncos had an awesome team last year, okay? Peyton Manning lost in his first playoff game. Was that his fault? There was a he drove down the field, scored with a few seconds left on the clock, and the uh, the eventual Super Bowl champion Ravens had a hail mary pass where the defender decided not to play any defense. And even though Peyton Manning drove down and won the game with 40 seconds to go, the 
Ravens came back and tied it with that Hail Mary pass. Like, is that Peyton Manning's fault? Yeah, of course not. But it goes down in his record as, oh, Peyton, Peyton can't win playoff games. Look at his playoff record. Rats, this is a lot of uh, repairs. I could feel it getting loose in the S's, but I thought I thought I could uh, recover from it. But once I went too far to the right and hit, hit the curb, it was pretty much done. Um, you look at that playoff game against the Pats I was talking about, where the where the uh, Peyton Manning just had no no time to throw all game. Is that Peyton Manning's fault? Well, it could be, but during the at the post game press conference, they asked him like, "Hey Peyton, you really had no time to throw that that game." And he and, and he said and he said, "Yeah, we had some protection issues." And the media jumped on him like he was blaming his offensive line for 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 the loss, and that's not what a true leader should do. The true leader should not be uh, blaming his teammates. He's stating what happened in the game. You all saw it. You all saw that he had no time to throw during the whole game. Really, really uh, annoying. It's, they get they treated, you know, Wes Welker drops the ball in the Super Bowl, and the Giants win. Okay, the Giants go, uh, the Giants defeat the under defeat the Patriots in the Super Bowl. The Patriots were going to be undefeated. Uh, and my phone's ringing. Hold on. Why? Hey, you. Uh, so anyway, okay. So Wes Welker drops the ball, and the the Patriots lose lose the game. Sorry for the delay there. So, uh, did anybody blame Tom Brady? Did anyone say, "Oh, that loss was Tom Brady's fault"? No, of course not. Now, in the Super Bowl, when the Colts lost to the Saints, when they were multiple digit favorites. Hank Basket, the reality show superstar, had the onside kick in the start of the second half in his hands and dropped it. And that gave the Saints life in the second half, gave them all the momentum. Car on your left. All clear, all clear. And they went on to win the game and eventually the Super Bowl. Now, yes, did Peyton Manning throw the interception that read to the touchdown to seal the win for the Saints? Yes. Or did they have a big lead at halftime and blow it and Peyton Manning was losing at that point and was trying to, like, make something happen? You know? Did they blow the halftime lead, drop the onside kick, you know, did the defense blow the halftime lead and drop the outside kick, and that's Peyton Manning's fault? But the, the narrative when the game was over, other than what a great story the Saints team is, it was Peyton Manning loses. Peyton Manning will never be as good as Tom Brady. He lost the Super Bowl. Eli won his second Super Bowl, it's like, well, Eli Manning has two Super Bowls. Peyton Manning only has one Super Bowl. Does that make Eli better than Peyton? Well, 
Ben Roethlisberger has two Super Bowls. Does that make him better than Peyton? Four minutes, 48 point nine six I mean, four. not. So it, it's, 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 it's a team. And Roethlisberger had a fantastic run game, a fantastic defense, and threw one of the most uh, degree of difficulty passes of all time to win the Super Bowl. That pass to win the Super Bowl against the uh, Arizona Cardinals was amazing. So credit to him. Is he better than Peyton Manning? Because he has two Super Bowl rings? Of course not. Anyway, the this, thesis this is I don't want to see some, for lack, for lack of a better word, bullshit happened. And Peyton Manning loses his game. And go down as like, go down as like, well, he can't be better than, uh, he can't be better than Tom Brady because Tom Brady beat him head to head four out of five times. Gone to the Super Bowl. Uh, what's this now? So if he wins, it'd be five Super Bowls for Brady? No, can't be. He has three rings and he's lost twice to Eli. Oh, okay. The car is just way off center. The McLarens get to me, I'm stopping. I don't really have a favorite team, but I have a, I have a favorite I have a favorite player. You can guess who he is. One minute, 55.362. My favorite team was the Colts, but now that he's not on the Colts, you know, there's still, like, there's still a team I root for. Manning's my favorite player, obviously. I think I know all these stats about him. I think I'm so passionate about Big Man. No, Big Manning went to went to Tennessee. The most famous Rutgers player is Ray Rice from the Ravens team that beat Peyton Manning earlier. This Bruno is faster than me because I'm a little boy. I may have to stop. If I'm a liability out here, I should stop. Here's why Peyton Manning is my favorite player. When it was a thing when I was old enough to, to go, me and my One friends would go minute, to the NFL 40, draft. Nine point six four. And we would just make a whole day out of it. Uh, and the NFL draft was like awesome because it was just basically a festival of football fans. Uh, yeah, I guess you call it a festival. So, you know how you have like BlizzCon and all these like World of Warcraft players that come and they all go to Anaheim and they all meet and that's sort of like really nerdy? But that's what the NFL Draft is to football fans. Like, fans come from all over the country. You know, you get to meet fans that are 49ers fans and Seahawks fans and obviously there's a lot more Jets fans and Giants fans and Eagles fans because it's more local, but fans from all over the country just there to talk football. And there's no like advanced tickets, you don't buy tickets, you just have to line up early to get your seat. So you just be online for hours just talking football with people. And it was really cool. Uh, so Peyton Manning was the best player I've ever seen drafted. 
at the time, he was, at the time I knew he was the best player I will ever see drafted. Uh, and ever since he's been drafted, he's been my favorite player. And I've been trying to follow him ever since because he's amazing. Peyton Manning's been running the show of his offense for over 10 years. Right? Peyton Manning calls the plays in the huddle. You know, he, uh, he adjusts the plays at the line of scrimmage. He is the offensive. One minute, 49.11. Offensive coordinator of his team. And it works. When he sees, you know, he, he does the dummy snap call. He sees what's going on with the linebackers. He's able to change, change the play. And it works. Based on pure numbers, he's had one of the best offensive uh, teams, you know, almost every year that he's, he's been in the quarterback. So, if in the NFL, if something works, it always, always, always gets copied. Always. So, why hasn't anybody copied Peyton Manning's system? Or, you know, why hasn't anybody said, hey, you, Joe Flacco, you're in charge of the offense now, so you get to uh, change the play to line of scrimmage, and you get to call multiple plays in the huddle, and whatever you decide the linebackers look like, you, you flip at the line and change the call. Sure, there's audibles, but not like entire plays. They call like three different plays in the huddle. So, and I'll tell you why nobody else does it. Because nobody else can do it. Nobody else has the ability to read a uh, defense and be right as often as Peyton. And nobody, nobody can be trusted to, to do it like Peyton can. Look at Peyton Manning now with the uh, with the weak arm and say you know, one he's, he's minute forty eight point given. three two two. Go look at when he was when he was torching uh, teams back in like 2002, 2000, 2000, 2002, yeah, when he had all those touchdowns, two thousand two, I think. We just look at those deep balls to like Reggie Wayne and it like. 50 yards down the field, just perfectly placed in his hands, like on his on stride. You know, Marvin Harrison. You know, look at those deep balls. And you tell me he didn't have arm strength. And I'm not saying Tom Brady sucks, don't get me wrong. Damn video has turned into me ranting about football. I am going to park it here in about 10 laps. Because I am slower than the, the requirements. And I don't want to get in the way. If you are interested in the Invitational, maybe you saw my stream or the broadcast, you were looking for other streams. The channel is called Real Damage, Mark Hewitt. He, just like Shane Territory in the One first Invitational, minute, 40, he had the nine, best point, uh, eight, four. race than anybody, I think. Just in terms of like pure entertainment. Um, so check out, he, he does exactly like I do, but, except for the old, what I is exactly like I do, but with this, right? <laughs> so, uh, and uh, he's pretty entertaining. Um, but yeah, he was in the action all race because he moves down with the slower vets, and he was the he was he was always in the top three or four of his class in the 
uh, McLarens. He was always like in the battle with, with the other McLarens, and he had to deal with, this, with the slower vets. That's twice there on his crash. Which was really tough to deal with those slower vets because they were just so much faster, just in pure speed, and then they'd mess up. So then he'd pass them, and then they'd be so much faster in pure speed, then they'd mess up. It really, really made for some interesting watching. Because um, I had to fix the stream and restart the stream better, CP, I don't think that's going to go on YouTube. But you can watch the video on demand on my Twitch channel. One minute, fifty one, oh, two more laps, five, four, six. Good news is I completed the uh, season in uh, the series, and I'm going to win the championship. The bad news is I kind of have had sucky results in Grand Am the last couple of weeks. Crashed at Spa, crashed here. Uh, the mountain was pretty good. Oh, I crashed there. I was in second place and crashed there. At the time I didn't crash, like nobody else did. So I got like fifth or something. make that turn because of the way the, the damage is. The car just won't grow the weight transfer is one will not transfer over. Mm -hmm. DP is about a nine seconds. One behind. minute forty nine point two probably oh, run one forty so they'll catch me in this lab. So this is definitely the last lap. I could tough it out, but I don't want to be that guy. And uh, I don't want to be that guy who's just so slow and just gets in the way. You can see I'm not really, it's not like the car is fully uh, predictable. Like I know exactly where the car is going to go. So our I rating will drop again, heading into the Rolex 2.4, which is next Friday at 8 o'clock Eastern. Hopefully the overlay will work, and hopefully we'll be able to stream to YouTube. Overlay's worked so far this race, too bad it hasn't right come into play for anything. Pitting, pitting, pitting. Jesus Christ. Car won't go straight. Pitting. Car on your left. Clear on the left. Got one on your left. Clear on the left. The car is so hard to keep straight. And I got another X for no reason. Oh well. So. That's probably the last video for YouTube until the Rolex. I'll be on Twitch uh, 
I don't know when, but probably most of the week, because my wife will be away next week, but just for pure practice of the Rolex, because we're going all in on the Rolex. Okay? Uh, sorry, I, sorry I did so, so bad. I uh, <laughs> wish I was a better uh, result for everybody, but um, go Broncos. Please, the answer, please, please. Please. please, I don't want to see the comments like at like 7.30 tonight, just like, you know, everybody lost, you know, and, the, and Peyton Manning had like 17 interceptions and, you know, clearly is not the greatest of all time, okay? <laughs> I really hope that doesn't happen. And that's the end of my show, donk.